have any idea how much this car means to me? She's a show car, and I'm taking her to a car show. Well, I wasn't invited. Hi! Hi! You look really pretty. Oh, thank you. Unexpected piece and concept executed to great success. Absurd um, uh, with the gent chasing them, the relationship they just want to make work, and the relationship being the between the two, with it being so grounded, um, we could go on this absurd 1960s B-movie forays, and I was so fully invested. So we had all of these wild and wonderful elements with uh, some really trippy graphics at times. But because it was grounded in a relationship that was so honest, I totally was down for it. And it's like, of course. Uh, creating a very sort of zany backdrop or stylistic approach, right? But while also matching it with a, um, a layered um, approach in terms of the acting and, um, and the humor as well as the, um, the drama towards uh, later on as they um, get farther on their travels. I thought that the uh, lead actresses had a really great dynamic that felt um, a very human and realistic and also allowed for a sort of um, absurd sense of comedy that ended up working because I thought um, everyone was on screen was very self-aware of the, um, the comedic approach and uh, were able to sort of approach it and um, in different ways that for each um, character on screen um, that made the entire uh, drama around the car and the sort of internal journey of the characters um, seem um, more interesting than you would expect within this um, type of setting. I like that there's always the threat of the car owner, her dad, catching up to them. You know, you have all these running scenes that we keep cutting back to where he's, you know, meant to look like he's been running after the car. Um, I like that they had kind of set up this date and we're discussing it through the film and we actually get to see the date and the animation as the credits. Um, this piece is big on physical comedy. The, the um, actress that plays the car uses a lot of physical comedy. Um, it's, you know, the actress, the actor that plays her dad uses a lot of physical comedy. It is just, it's just one of those, those things that's ever present throughout um, this comedic piece. This car who represents this woman's libido. So well done. And I love the actress who played the car. I love all of the acting and the characters were really well cast. Um, and if the car hadn't been as good as she was, you know, this whole thing could have fell apart. So that's why I kind of focused on her first. I really do believe that because this car was this woman's representing her libido, it really had to be there, you know, really had to be on, um, so to speak. So um, I love the line, I'm her sex drive, <laughs> drive, no pun intended, right? I love the line too, when the car says, what about my hella personality? <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, which accent is her actual native accent? So great job to the actress on that. I wasn't sure. Um, just this was so creative. And, you know, a car being somebody's libido really works. <laughs> Didn't know if it was going to, but it really did. Great music usage, too. Great use of the music. Not just great music, but great use of it. Great choices there. Everybody was very believable. Um, I loved the idea of having Lenny's libido be kind of in the rearview mirror of the car, and then she can manifest herself. And her character, the actress who played Lenny's libido, was absolutely fantastic. I found myself laughing a lot about what she was doing. So I loved that. I think the special effects that they did were fantastic. So seamless and so perfect. One of the things that was very clever, but very simple, the music that they added to it was so cool. And the fact that they seamlessly put it into the actor's headphones where you're listening to it really helped re draw you in to what was going on. This felt like one of those hokey 80s movies that are humorous and corny and intense all at the same time. They're the full ride that doesn't have to make sense. Things like Crybaby and things like that where, and Herbie, where the car is talking and from the tune you thought they would sing a little bit and it would be a musical, but it wasn't. It just gave that 50s vibe. It was, um, 
this felt very like much like a vintage film and it was just a fun ride the filmmakers did a great job with the special effects the car itself they did everything right with this the cinematography was humorous or beautiful when they were out by the cliffs it was really really a fun ride to take on this film. Well, this was crazy. It was original. It was insane. It was surreal. It was kind of avant-garde. <laughs> it had a lot of crazy uh, special effects in it. Um, the people were nuts. Um, you know, the animation at the end was impressive. Um, all the crazy special effects were good. So, so yeah, yeah. Talking car and hallucinogenic person appearing and all that. Yeah, no, it's, you know, it's out of the box. It's avant-garde, like I said. So, you know, good job on uh, being forward-thinking and original with this and being crazy.